Now know the name of the man police suspect shot three people, killing two of them on Sunday. 24-year-old Kenan Devon Young allegedly opened fire at a home in Whiteville. Tonight, the family of the two brothers killed are in mourning, while a third victim is still recovering. WCT's Cassie Simmons visited Whiteville today to learn more about these two young men. Cassie, many people knew them as star football players. That's right, Fran. Tyleek and Nicholas Bellamy both played on the varsity football team at Whiteville High School. I met their coach today who says he's heartbroken to know those young men are gone, leaving behind a long line of grieving friends and family. Football games at Whiteville High School won't be the same without the Bellamy brothers there to cheer on their former teammates. Yeah, Nick was an uh, athletic kid, um, excelled in track as well as a sprinter and on the relay team. Tyleek started for us uh, in the secondary, and he got the nickname Touchdown Tyleek because he would always come in at the end of the games if we were up big. Um, and I swear to you, every time it seemed like he touched the ball, he would score. Their athletic abilities is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what Tyleek and Nicholas Bellamy will be remembered for. Likeable personalities and likeable kids, always a smile on their, on their face. They like to cut up a lot. On Sunday, the two were shot and killed at their home on Elizabeth Street. It was news no one expected. When I first saw it, I was just shocked, disturbed and frustrating. Not only are their former teammates heartbroken, but the two leave behind family that now have to find a way to move on without them. You know, two young lives are lost and Tyleek had a, uh, had a baby. Um, and so now you have a, a, a kid growing up without no father. So very just, uh, just heartbreaking, very heartbreaking. As Coach Price tries to help guide his team through mourning, he prays to one day see an end to the senseless violence. But if we would do what God's called us to do, that's love God and love your neighbor, a lot, lots of these things would end. Uh, and, and just by showing love, just by simply showing love and that we care for each other. I'm talking about genuine value of life. Now the community is left to remember the lives of the Bellamy brothers. Coach Price says he finds peace in knowing the boys were Christians. Their pastor described them to us as respectful young men. Cassie Simmons, WECT News.